Check out my brand new book, Micro Shelters, on Amazon.com with six full plan sets in it. Also coming up, Tiny House Summer Camp 3 in Vermont. So much fun. Ungodly amounts of fun. Hands-on building. We do group builds, collaborative arts. So many guest speakers, guest demos. You will see this house right here, which I designed. Uh, it's all campfire speakers on a 10-acre spread of land with about eight shelters, cabins, and a treehouse. Here's something we built for HGTV, and this next one we built at a former workshop. Going to be fun. RelaxShacks.com for details. Okay. Hey, what's up? It's Steve from RelaxShacks.com. We're here in Fargo, North Dakota. True story. Where we've been hanging out for the Misfit Con, uh, courtesy of AJ Leone. No, really, it's running. And we had a mini tiny house workshop with some of these folks here. This is like the, the last lone soldiers. <laughs> Don't forget come. Marty. Marty Bacardi. <laughs> yeah. He's, He's still drunk. Dangerous. <laughs> Danger is his middle name and his first name. <laughs> Marty is actually his fourth. All right, so we've been hanging out, and in two mere days, we did a workshop, uh, kind of a building 101 workshop. The mission was to build something that is kind of a, you know, cabin that's an art piece, shelter as art, I joke and call it shart. But AJ said, I want it to be something that can be a performance stage for conferences, potentially, hence the kind of slick plywood cool uh, four by eight little platform there. Something that's certainly whimsical and noticeable, and certainly it is. Something that doubles as a, as they were around here, a bar. Because word has it, alcohol is just a wee bit of the, wee bit of the, uh, the misfit con. So we have this bar opening here as well. And something that's just overall fun and potentially easy to move. We failed in that part, because whoever has to move this thing is just SOL. <laughs> so, <laughs> So we're here downtown. Don't forget the backside. We're here, yeah, we'll get that, we'll get that. Come on, patience. So we're here downtown in Fargo. This is what we've been building inside a really, really cool art gallery where, again, they also had the Misfit Con. And I want to kind of take you through a short little tour. First of all, of course, the little seat on which you can rest and enjoy a wood chip or ale or something to that effect. Uh, up here, we were lucky enough. Does anyone remember the name of the bicycle shop? And a great northern, I want to say. Yeah, they were super cool. We were in a pinch. We wanted bicycle rims for eyes. So we literally uh, took someone from the workshop. They walked down there and just politely asked, can we have some bicycle rims? And they gave them to us. This, if you see many, any of my workshops, this little candy plate here, I brought many times as an example. This is the first time I actually put this particular one to use. I retired it. It's stuck here in Fargo, North Dakota, as the iris of this Electro Frankenstein freak shack. The running title for now. By the end of the video, if you Hangover guys, hut. yeah, the what? Hangover, Hangover hut. As I say, by the end of the video, if you guys come up with a better name, feel free. So there's a lot of recycled aspects of this. Some new construction as well. Another bike rim here. The uh, the eyebrows of this giant beast are something one of the attendees brought, and they're actually stringers, pressure treated stringers from a uh, from steps to a deck. Instead of chucking them, we painted them blue and made them these, made them these uh, kind of floating eyebrows on the cabin. The nose, which lights up, Rudolph style, is from a local business. I bought this as I walked around town. It's a mid-century modern lamp, kind of Picasso in style. Hey, what's up? We've got to get you in the video as well. Okay. Hello. Just to prove that most of these workshops aren't total sausage festivals. <laughs> um, so. So uh, it's a simple indoor kind of cabin or a space within a space, never designed to go outside. That wasn't the mission. Some funky, cool art from uh, Kristen Anderson over here within. And as we back up, this, I guess at each Misfit Con, they have a group art project at the close of the conference. And this is something that was just like a graffiti piece that became as planned the back wall of our cabin where the 100 plus attendees just signed their names and wrote all sorts of, sorts of uh, things, some of which are very profane. We'll bleep out or blur out some of the bad stuff. I changed that to duck, just to keep this video kid friendly, kind of. Some simple IKEA modern globe lights in here, a couple little art pieces we've hung up as well. And uh, one of the cool things about the conference was the chairs they had for the attendees, there were about 180 of them, were all eclectic, yard sale, mid-century modern, wacky, and or wild chairs. 
Uh, we put these uh, the shed style roof here just to give the illusion of it being enclosed. It is not, but that's just kind of a place where we could hang our lights. And from the inside, you can see the openings we jigsawed out, trying different techniques for some people who hadn't built before. Uh, again, the iris and the super funky slash incredibly, incredibly ugly lamp. Our top, some shelves we built in. The liquor bottles and wine bottles, each of which was emptied by Marty Bacardi. They are, they, uh, when the light passes through them, people think we're joking. When the light passes through them, they become like the teeth of the beast. That's pretty much all there is to it. It's a simple framing, turtle green paint, and again, turtle green. No, they call it leapfrog green. That's the, that's the actual name of the paint from the Martha Stewart collection, not really. <laughs> and uh, that's pretty much all she wrote, but some funky, funky graffiti. Just wanted to share with y'all, here again in Fargo, North Dakota, having such a great time. I'm Deke from RelaxShacks.com, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. And one more shot of some of the remaining folks from the workshop. <laughs> who are drinking all of our beer. Get out, get out of here, yeah. leave. Go around back. Go around. Oh yeah, okay, video isn't over yet. I'm gonna sneak around. People are like, Jesus, this is one long video. <laughs> Full of nothingness. Okay. Maybe if I focus on some of these beers, we can get them as sponsors. But back here, okay, this is a, a tale of inadvertent corrections. Yeah, okay, make it creepy. So before we built, we had a couple sheets of plywood that were waiting here for us. And uh, one of the attendees from the other conference, unbeknownst to us, cut a big chunk of one of the sheets of plywood out. We're like, oh crap, we don't have another sheet of plywood. So we made it, this little window, and with a scrap, cut out this little creature that peeks from the window. It's our and we bear. claim it was all intentional. It was not. Honey bear. It was not. Yeah, does he have a name yet? Well, it's a honey bear. Honey, it just looks like total like creepy acid trip bear. <laughs> all right, and that's it, we're out of here. Let's go hit the Bismarck.